Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, May 9th, 2013. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. See that the futures are trading lower by about three points at the moment. Uh, down a little bit ahead of the opening bell. Right now it is 8.28 a.m. And you can see we still have an hour before the market actually opens for trading. Uh, but in the pre-market, you can see the futures are trading down about three points. This is not that big a deal. Uh, the markets have been steadily rising each and every day. Yesterday, the markets were up again as the S&P climbed by nearly seven points and the Dow Jones was up by 48 points. So again, uh, markets a little bit uh, lower ahead of the opening bell. We will have the weekly jobless claim number. Um, being released uh, in about another m two minutes, so we'll see how that plays out going forward. But right now, um, nothing more than a little bit of a downdraft. Now, looking uh, overseas over at Europe, European markets are all slightly lower. Italy is getting hit today, though. Italy, the Italian market, is down about 1.3%. Um, I'm not exactly sure why Italy is down. But then again, each and every day, I'm just shocked that it's even up. So uh, I really shouldn't be surprised that it is down, but it is down about 1.3% this morning. Meanwhile, the German DAX is flat on the session, just down one-tenth of 1%. The French CAC 40 is down eight-tenths of 1%, and the Spanish IBEX, one, uh, IBEX 35 is down about four-tenths of 1%. So... It looks like the European market's a little bit lower. Uh, last night, there was some economic data out of uh, China that I, I believe was a little bit softer than expected. So uh, we'll see if that really has anything to do with it. But I, I can't make too much out of that stuff. Um, it looks like producer prices fell uh, a little bit more than expected in China. Uh, but, you know, what could we say? Um, each and every day you get mixed news out of China. Who could keep up with that stuff? That's why we follow the charts. We really just care about the money, fly, money flow, whether it's going into the market or out of the market. Uh, also last night, it looks like the Bank of Korea uh, unexpectedly uh, reduced, uh, did a surprise rate cut. And um, they're joining the party. So everybody now is cutting rates or printing more money. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, Australia did it the night before. Japan has been doing it each and every night. And um, this is the kind of world we live in where just central banks are just uh, artificially inflating the markets each and every day. The Nikkei 225 last night in Asia was down about six-tenths of 1%. The Shanghai was down six-tenths of 1%. And the Bombay Sensex Index, which is India, uh, down about a quarter of 1%. Not really uh, big action in Asia last night, but nonetheless, uh, subtle, subtle little pullback across the board. Singapore which is probably the financial hub of Asia outside of Hong Kong that was down about uh, that was higher by uh, six tenths of one percent so we can't make too much out of the news over there um, but again uh, China economic data some people believe it some people don't I could care less what it is or what they say I don't believe anybody's data I just care about the charts and do what the charts tell us to do some big movers in the market today Green Mountain Coffee Roasters uh, ticker symbol is GMCR this is having a really, really big pop. I hopefully can isolate a little resistance level there. But GMCR is uh, catching a pretty sizable bid this morning. Um, it looks like Tesla Motors uh, went to profitability. So we'll see how that one plays out there. Um, I'm not sure if they're subsidized or not, but it's amazing how a company could go to profitability when they're subsidized if they are. But either way, that's trading up to a new all-time high, $68.00 and 21 cents a share at the moment so that's pretty incredible um, <clears throat> looking at a few other things here you have a lot of different uh, stocks reporting earnings um, today uh, not household names but stocks like monster energy uh, that's reporting earning uh, that reporting earnings rack space hosting a whole bunch of, of other stocks so uh, we'll keep watch for those I have a, a quite a few gap plays this morning coming out so We'll have those posted around uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, it looks like the futures have gotten a little bit of a trickle higher, and then they pulled back in again. Uh, the weekly jobless number is out. So the weekly jobless claim number, if, um, I don't even know how important that number really even is, but uh, it looks like that number is released a little bit better than expected. It looks like uh, weekly jobless claims uh, declined 4,000 to 323,000. Uh, I guess this is the lowest number since January 2008, according 
to the newswire. So, um, again, uh, weekly jobless claims better than expected. You, you would think that these better than expected numbers would actually be a negative for the market because it would say that the Federal Reserve would have to start to raise rates or get off the, their foot off the pedal when it comes to quantitative easing. But that is not the case at the moment. The market takes good news as being uh, very good and bad news as being great news. And that's the kind of environment that we're in at the moment. Until that changes, um, that's how you have to watch these markets right now. Uh, ultimately, uh, they're still holding up. They're really, uh, they're, they're holding up pretty well at the moment. All right, um, let's take a look at gold this morning. Uh, gold is down 11 points. Gold continues on the seesaw ride. Uh, up 10, up 20, down 10, down 20. Um, right now you have uh, spot gold down about uh, ten dollars and change to around fourteen sixty three an ounce let's take a look at the gld this morning gld is trading at one hundred and forty one dollars and sixty six dollars a share closed at one hundred forty two dollars and forty six cents a share yesterday so you can see gld is reflecting that move down in the spot price uh... light sweet crude this morning is trading uh... lower by eighty two cents so we do have some uh, some down downdraft in uh, light sweet crude. That's the oil that we use here in the United States. Uh, let's take a look at the USO, which is a good proxy for light sweet crude, and you'll see that is trading at thirty-four dollars and sixteen cents. It closed at thirty-four dollars and forty cents yesterday. So um, oil, gold, both are lower. Yet the stock market is you know essentially flat on the session for the most part. So we'll see how this market opens up. We'll see how it shakes out. We will have some gap plays for you in the morning. For those of you that want to come over to the chat room, uh, they'll be posted around 9 o'clock. And I will see you all on the charts after that. Take care, everybody. Have a great trading day.